what the heck is that? That was my first impression of the video when I put it on my computer and looked at it. It was like this round ball and it looked like super wide and it, it looked like a fisheye lens and it was like, what, what, what am I going to actually use that for? You know, what good is that? But it turned out to be okay and I'll show you why. Now this video is just a uh, kind of a short overview video of how to get, you know, how do you take a, some video with this? How do you kind of get it set up initially? And then how do you get it over your computer and what do you do with it? You know, I don't, like I said, I don't want to go into great detail, but I'm going to give you some of the things that I uh, found out. Now, first of all, uh, this, this camera, it's connected to the dock with a, like Bluetooth. And so when you, when you put it in here and connect it, it automatically asks you to connect. And I think it's, it's already set up and, and connects to itself uh, uh, with the Bluetooth. But there are other programs that you need to get, and I didn't really quite understand this right off the bat. And you need to have the, um, the app for your phone, firstly. The app for your phone is what controls everything or sets up everything on the camera. Now, I'm going to put a link in the comments below to Insta360 where you get the downloads. But if you take a look over here, you'll see that the first thing on the, on the link is to the camera app. And so you need to download, you need to get that download. You can probably go to your, 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 um, uh, your Play Store or the, the iOS Store and just download it from there. It's probably the best place to get it. But you're going to need that because this app is many things. It, it's a, a video editor if you want to edit uh, video on your phone. Personally, I don't because if I get a huge long video. It's just hard to do. Um, but it also sets up your uh, sets up your camera to the the modes that you want, and it, it'll kind of stick to it when you use the little case when you use the little case as a controller. So. Uh, it also is like a remote viewing control, like a screen. So you can look at something if you want to and, and, and record it and see exactly what you're recording. And so it'll act like a remote control. But everything's connected to everything. You know, the phone actually connects, I think, to the dock with Wi-Fi. I had to set that up. But it can also connect up to the, to the camera itself without the dock. So... It's, you can do it, you know, you do use any kind of combination, but it's a little bit uh, confusing, you know. And I did see this. I saw another YouTube video where somebody was holding up this camera saying, boy, this is really confusing. But, you know, once you figure it out, and once you get a few, if I can do it, you can. And once you get it kind of set up, it's actually um, uh, not too bad. And it does a fantastic job. Now... Scrolling down on the in their website, you know, it has the, you know, firm firmware updates. You know, uh, when I got mine, I looked at the firmware that was in it. It was the same as what the update was, so I didn't need that. But you also need to get this Insta 360 Studio 2021. If you see in this movie two years from now, I guess it might be something a little different. But you need to get their studio, and I'll show you why. Uh, once I sh once I loaded up the um, once I got my files on, onto my computer, and this is not hard to do, you have to have this open. And once you plug in the cable to your computer, it acts just like any other USB storage device, and you can transfer the files over, right? And um, uh, you have to, I think, I press to connect here. You just have to follow the little instructions, but you can get this. But all, it, it switches modes to file transfer mode, right? In order to do anything with it, you have to unplug it, and then you're in, okay, now we're working with you mode. But anyway, so you can transfer over your files, and once you do that, you know, you'll see that you have these, these files on your computer. And the first thing I saw was, wow, geez, look at that big ball. You know, that's, that's not what I want, big fisheye look, but open up open up the, the, uh, the Insta360 Studio, and I'm not really quite sure why they call it Studio, because it's not 
you know, it doesn't seem like a full feed, full editing software to me. You can edit one clip and, but here's the important thing. It's when you, uh, you know, you hear other videos and you, you hear them saying only shoot in promo. And it's true. You should only shoot in promo, whether it be the, you know, whichever you want to do it, the, um, uh, it, it has a 169 which is like this, and you set that up in the phone app, <laughs> you know, to shoot that way, or 916. And this example that I'm showing you was shot like this, and I didn't realize I had it set that way, and I had to go back to the app to change it, so it's like this. Um, but when you have it in pro mode, you have, you have the, um, uh, you have a selection for the stabilization. Now, in this first video, you see it's still kind of cockeyed. You know, it's like you're looking at it and everything's tilted. But when you click on uh, the flow state stabilization, when you have it shot in flow mode, and I'm not sure how it detects that, but all of a sudden, it, the horizon is straightened out. And then everything's fine. And then you, you, your video... It captured all the information from that round, big fisheye ball, straightened it all out, and stabilized the horizon. And it's amazing, actually. If you look up there, look at this little video clip, you can see that this, it, look how well it handles the sun. It's, it's fabulous. But when you're done with getting your video, uh, you know, you know you know, just clicking on the buttons and you got the stabilization done and, and everything looks like you want to transport it, you know, export it out uh, to a, a regular video editor. I use iMovie. You could use whatever you're using, whatever for your PC or, uh, or whatever. You click on this little yellow on the top right, export. And then it'll open up a box. You can change these settings, I guess, if you want to. I just leave them the way they are, except for the file path. I can change that to where I want it to be and hit OK. Now, what it does is it saves the video to where you want it to be, and that uh, video that's done will have the horizon all straight. It'll look right, and then you can go about editing it in your regular editing software. So. Once I kind of figured all this stuff out, that I had to have, you know, these things set right, you know, it, 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 it's, it's just a really great camera for doing action stuff. You know, here I'm doing a dog cam. I'm sticking it on top of the dog. <laughs> and I'll also uh, uh, set a link to, the, uh, to my other uh, YouTube channel. It's called smell vision for the dogs, which I'm doing a lot more uh, dog videos. But... That'll should, you know, have a link to the full length video on that channel. But anyway, so I just thought I'd share that and I, hopefully it's helpful to you if you just purchased one of these cameras and are trying to figure out, you know, what do I do now? Or, you know, now I took a video, why does it look, so, why does it look wrong or why aren't I getting it set up right? I mean, it was frustrating to me and hopefully this helps. Anyway, we'll talk to you later.